What's up? This is Brayden from Say We Can Fly. You're listening to my song Lifeboat on the Songwriters Lounge, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in. So I do love a show Pokemon Go. Maybe I can catch you if I just let you know. Gotta live, gotta watch, gotta soul chill. Making money, talking about the shit that I feel. Think it's funny, cause I never feel complete still. $20 highway missing you, yeah. Got a whip, got a watch, got the windows down. It's not the same in a city when you're not around. You're a lighthouse, there in a night sky. And you're a lifeboat side to my bedside, yeah. I love that track, man. Uh, uh, it's just great, isn't it? It's just it's so good. And that it's was so, uh, so yeah, that's their song "Lifeboat." Is that the unmasked version there, Andy? Yeah, so that's the unmasked version, and and I really actually liked um, the original version as well. Like it's kind of a, a, a more full production version, but um, I always like it when people do un, like unmasked or acoustic kind of you know like different versions. Me too. I love it to the music. I love it. it yeah, it just brings a different side to the track as well. I mean, you feel different listening to both, even though they're both about the same thing, obviously. And yeah, I, I particularly like this version. I really liked, uh, and just, I guess, before we dive into the track, just to echo Tom as well. He's a lovely guy. Braden was a, a cool dude to speak to, and he is really humble. I don't know if you got the impression, but he's so humble. He doesn't actually realise, I think how talented he is because I'm just like I've got so much respect for him and and this and this track for me is yeah like straight away stylistically like his vocals and his like vibe is very like all about like that emo acoustic Mm -hmm. emo kind of pop punky infused kind of space and I'm all about that you know, you know, we grew that, up with like, it, mate. Grew up we with grew it. Up, we grew up with that, so we are big into that kind of sound. And inst- like instantly, my sp- my head goes into that space and that community that I love so much. And I just, yeah, it just really fits for me. And uh, and I think you know, there's there's the vibe of it, but he's got a good, he's got a really good vocal. You know, he's a he's a talented vocalist. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So I just it's um. I, yeah, I, I was. I, I just wanted to point out because we did. We do speak about this song with Braden on the episode with him, and we, you know, we spoke through it and like how he wrote, wrote it and produced it and stuff. But one thing that I kicked myself after we finished the episode is I didn't bring up with him. His diction is incredible. You understand every single word he's saying, which may mm. seem like a really strange thing to talk about with with the vocalist because you you might be thinking like, well, of course you can understand him. But how many songs have you ever listened to in your life where you are singing the wrong thing and then someone corrects you and says, actually, no, the lyric is this. Or you look up the lyrics and you're like, oh, that's what they're saying. So it's not as crazy a thing to say as you might think. And Braden's diction is fantastic. And if you don't know what diction means, diction just means how well you understand and how well they pronounce the words. Um, so, yeah, and a great have. melody. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> but fantastic melody. I mean... I love the strings in this song. It's funny because when we were talking to Braden, we may have played on the same tour. We both supported Red Jumpsuit Apparatus at the same time. Yeah. And I don't know if it was the same tour. I can't remember, but damn, I hope it is because that would be cool. But this song is is quality. I love the production on the percussion, especially because it like, he brings it in and out so well that like one minute it's there and then one minute it's stripped all the way back to just like, well in the distance sure. which I imagine he's accomplished with reverb and just simple volume automation but oh, yeah definitely I thought the full mix is fantastic as with like the stereo image is fantastic everything is so clear in the whole stereo field um, and you know even though it's quite a busy mix if you listen to it there's a lot of things that could be fighting for the same space Totally. What Braden's done really well is balanced everything. So he's given everything a lane and he's stuck with it, which again is like, it's hard not to make things kind of like a, 
a, like a sonic battlefield. Like nothing is hitting each other for the same space. Everything is lovely and balanced and that's why it's so clear. So yeah, real skill that takes as well, real skill. Yeah, I'm, I love the, like in the sound design, you've got obviously the acoustic guitars and his kind of lead vocals, but you've got these like ooze, these like harmony ooze, like just subtly in the background, which like it's almost like saturation. It's like that sound design saturation where I'm sure like, most people listening to it, if they're just like in their own vibe, that they're not really picking up on like that level of subtle detail. But if you were to take it away, it would completely change the mood of the track. And that's one thing that I wanted to point out was I really liked the. It's almost like just like ooh, but there's yeah. like different layers of it, and it's yeah, it's really nice. So that's one kind of thing that I was like, hmm, I like that deliberate choice to saturate the the stereo image, like you say, just thicken up lovely it's lovely yeah another thing that we wanted to discuss this season that we didn't do last season is kind of speak a little bit about the emotion that it generates so like mm. which you don't really touch upon but for me like his voice is so emotional and totally. you know i'm really believing everything he says and then he brings a harmony into it and it's like one of those things that just makes the hair on the back of your neck stand up because it is that good but his voice is so believable and his delivery is believable. Um, yeah, th this just brings me back to kind of the high school days, you know, just walk yeah. in like off the bus in the morning into school with my headphones on, my head down, wishing I was anywhere but there, but listening to the music <laughs> that I loved at the time, which was this kind of music. So that's kind of where it takes me back to. What about you, Andy? Yeah, I mean, I think like one thing that I think I, I respect him so much for it is in that a lot of his music he quite openly sings about his his battle with mental health and there's some lyrics in this that generate straight away like emotions for me which is like i think it's funny because i like i'll never feel complete still um like it's it's like like instantly i was like feeling quite pensive but reflective um, and I think that's everything he's trying to convey in this track. I think the energy is quite low, but it's also like, it's quite serious as well, like the meaning to this song. Um, and there's a bit of, there's a bit of hope in there, which I like, you know, there's a lyric in there, you're a lighthouse there in the night sky. So it's not all that kind of doom and gloom and, and the kind of the struggles. It's, there's a bit of like that kind of positivity, which I really liked. So that kind of, that emotion does come out at times and I, I said this to him on the on the episode i think later on which you guys will hear but i love his like metaphorical lyricism like that exact thing like i never really talk about like you like you are a lighthouse i would i would never really write a lyric like that but i, I love to hear that kind of thing because um it's yeah it just it's a different way of writing lyrics isn't it so i think like emotion wise po poetry yeah, it's poetry, and um, that's everything that it made me feel definitely. So I, I just I think it's a top notch track, and also as a songwriter's lounge kind of sneaky hint, he was lovely enough to give us a wee cheeky listen to his upcoming album, and oh my god, honestly, oh, it's guys, fantastic, isn't it? it is un. Believable. So I just want to mention that as well because obviously we're reviewing a track that's already out, but you guys have to check out his new stuff coming because, like, if you like this, what's coming is like this, but on steroids. That's how good it is. And it, I, I like. I had to like email him <laughs> and say how good it was. I was, gonna, I was gonna, he's done that thing where all the best artists do, where you listen to an album and think. It's so good. How are they going to top that the next album? And he's done it. So yeah. like he has achieved it again. Like Andy said, just want to mirror that. It's very kind of him to send us the album to listen to before anyone else. Yeah. And it is just crazy, crazy good. So thank you, Braden. Hope you enjoyed that track. You guys we will obviously leave all the links to listen to the full version and check out. Say so we can fly on social media just in the totally. description. So definitely check that out.